Why? Well, verse 3 says, But thou art holy, O thou who inhabitest the praises of Israel. He was holy. God is holy. And when Christ was made sin, there had to be that separation, that bifurcation between the Father and the Son. Now, have you noticed that it says here, Why art thou so far from helping me from the words of my roaring? I want you to notice that. At his trial, he was silent. As a sheep before her shearers was dumb, he opened not his mouth. But yonder on the cross, he cries out like a wounded animal, like a lion, my friend. It was the plaintive shriek and wail of unutterable woe. And you know, no gospel writer actually describes that. Why? Some of them were there and heard it because I don't think they could have described it at all. Now, if you move on down in the psalm, he says, Our fathers trusted in thee. They trusted thou didst deliver them. And they were sinners, but they cast themselves on the mercy of God. But his death is different, you see. And now we're told, he says, But I'm a worm and no man, a reproach of men, and despised by the people. And what did they do? Well, notice this. We read, All they who see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip. They shake the head, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he'd deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted in him. You see, that was literally fulfilled. And what was it he said? What was his reaction to this? You see, the victim on the cross begins to take note of the brutal mob and the hardened spectators beneath the cross. And they stayed there. They shouldn't have. After they got him on the cross, they should have left. But they stood there, ridiculed him, and then sat down and watched him die. And friends, you can't go any farther than that. All the venom and the vileness of the human heart was poured out like an open sewer there like the deadly fangs of a poisonous snake. I think Saul of Tarsus was there because he called himself the chief of sinners. And that's where the chief of sinners were, at the crucifixion of Christ. Now, what's his reaction to this? Listen to him. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Now, if he hadn't said that, they would have committed the unpardonable sin. Now, he beholds not only the eyes of hate down there, but he sees the eyes of love. Will you notice this? He says here, as they ridiculed him, he trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him, seeing he delighted him. But now he sees someone else, sees his mother. 